Okay everyone, so just in case you're having a really rough day or you feel like you need something to cheer you up, I just thought I would show you what I look like right now. And I don't think you're prepared for what you're about to see. So just get ready. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I feel like the camera is a little bit dirty actually. Let me just clean you up. Um, so I'm actually about to just tackle my bedroom. So I just thought before I do that, anything to distract me from doing it. So I thought I'd say hi now. Um, so we still haven't got a date for the house and it's just literally driving me insane because I'm trying to pack and I don't know what to pack because I don't know when we're moving. But we think in our heads because everything's pretty much going through now everything's pretty much ready we've got a feeling it's going to be in the first couple of weeks of january so it might fall right on my birthday which is the 7th of jan but it doesn't matter anyway i'm not bothered about my birthday so i'm um, seriously it's friday and i need to pack because i've finished work for the week and i need to get started because i've barely done anything so I'm just about to put a bit of music on the telly, get ready to start packing. I just don't want to do it. Like, I keep trying to do everything I can before I start packing. I literally just made a reel on Instagram just because I didn't want to do packing. So how are you guys anyway? How are you all doing? Um, I know a couple of you, again, have had some procedures done this week. So I've been thinking about you and I have dropped a few of you a message. Um, but if any of you guys need to speak to pause that quickly if any of you guys need to speak to anyone or have a chat please message me you know i love to chat so yeah hope you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and also please don't forget to subscribe it's literally on your screen like around about here it might be here i don't know it's somewhere here <laughs> Um, it would honestly mean so much and I've not been vlogging for very long but I'm really enjoying doing it and I really want to get the word out there about my conditions and help other people so please don't forget to subscribe and you will find out when I post new content. So again thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and speak to you soon. Ooh, hi everyone, so I have done lots of packing, I'm actually really impressed with myself how much I've done. Um, I've just come back downstairs quickly and I'm just sat at my work computer because I've just realised I haven't handed my assignment in for uni. <sighs> I keep calling it uni. I mean my apprenticeship. Because I've been to uni and now I'm doing an apprenticeship, every time I'm doing work I just assume it's uni work and it's not, it's my apprentice work. So I need to hand that in so I've come back down to sit here. But I just wanted to show you something really quickly that I ordered. Um, <sighs> I've not really touched on this a lot and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate because it's not something I enjoy talking about because why would anyone? Um, I suffer a lot with my head. Um, it used to be a lot worse, a lot worse, um, but now I've learned to control my mental health with a lot of methods, you know, therapy, um, doing things online, keeping occupied and things like that. I might go into it another time properly but I don't want to go too much into it now because it's just a bit much and I'm sure a lot of you can agree that sometimes it's a bit much to talk about it. Um, anyway, I, like I said, I've, I've kind of got a bit better with my emotions and things like that but one of the main issues I still really have is sleeping. Now, I really struggle sleeping which is crazy because I'm tired all the time from my CFS and everything else I am tired all the time as soon as I get in bed my body can relax but my eyes are like this and it's just like the only way I can describe my mind is like if you've ever done them spider webs when you was in primary school or high school whatever it's like a mind map and um, I called them spider webs so like you think of one thing it's in a bubble and then off that you think of another thing that was relating to that and then that goes in a little bubble and then off that little thing you start thinking about start thinking about 10 other things from that and then off them 10 other things from that start thinking about other things from that and i don't know how to explain it other than my mind just cannot switch off i start thinking about one thing and it just leads to another and another and another and before i know it it's five o'clock and i've not gone to sleep and i tried everything to go to sleep anyway back to what i ordered <laughs> I've been told by so many of you guys and also a lot of people on Instagram to buy CBD. Ugh. Start again. 
CBD oil. I've been told by loads of people to get it because it's really good for people that have pain. Um, a lot of the time it's good for people that can't sleep and things like that. So you guys probably know what CBD is. I don't fully know what it means, but I don't know how to explain it. You will probably all know more than me because a lot of you have remen- <sighs> What is wrong with me? A lot of you have recommended it to me, bloody hell. So I'm gonna give it a go. I might as well do it now. Oh. Okay, I did it. Mmm, it doesn't taste bad. I'm not speaking properly because I want it to absorb. <laughs> oh, it's getting a bit stronger. <laughs> Why am I speaking like this? I'm trying not to absorb it. Right, I've swallowed now. Am I talking normally? Yeah. <laughs> I was really trying not to um, swallow it straight away because I think it's got to absorb under your tongue so I didn't want to swallow and I just started speaking really weird for a second. Right, that is taken. Do you know what? It didn't taste horrible, I thought it would do. I've heard a lot of people say it tastes horrible and that really wasn't. Um, so I don't know how long it takes to potentially work. So it's half 11. I'm gonna, um, I'm just about to have my night meds so I'm gonna have them now and maybe I'll catch up with you if I do actually start to feel tired soon. So I'll speak to you soon. Okay, everyone, so update. Um, I am in bed. I haven't taken my makeup off. I, you know I don't wear makeup, but I did a reel before, so I decided to put makeup on, and now I forgot I had it on, so I haven't took it off yet. But anyway, it's half 12, and I'm actually feeling a bit tired. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel tired, and I wouldn't normally feel tired, like sleepy tired right now, so maybe it is actually working. Um, really not sure but I just want to tell you the cutest message that I just received um so I put a reel that I just mentioned on Instagram before and I've been getting a lot of messages like a bit of hate messages from random weirdos um one guy messaged me and said like nobody cares no one wants to see that disgusting tube nobody has to see that don't put stuff like that online and stuff like things like that like it doesn't bother me because I know that I'm doing the right thing by trying to spread awareness and things like that and some things do upset me but I'm okay like I think because of the whole bullying thing that happened years ago I've gained a much stronger outlook on things so I am okay but my friend just sent me a message and just put um, keep doing what you're doing ignore them all be the person you needed to see when you were younger and that's just like hit me in like a really weird place because the whole reason why I wanted to start doing YouTube and wanted to start doing Instagram and starting raising awareness and stuff because when I was younger, when I was like 12, 13, 14, growing up with all these health issues, I did Instagram and things wasn't like they was now and you know social media wasn't like it was and I really wish I had someone to look at on social media that had a feeding tube or had chronic fatigue and had pots and had all these conditions that I have to be able to realise that it's okay and you're not alone and that's the whole reason I started wanting to do it because hopefully some of you guys that are watching me or follow me on Instagram or follow my YouTube really it helps you realise you're not alone because you're seriously not and when she just said that to me then like be the person you needed when you was younger like she's so right because I seriously wish I had someone to watch or someone to kind of speak to when I was down and when I was struggling with my health and that's just it's really nice that she said that so I really hope that my vlogs do help you um I know I always say it but if you ever need to message me like message me and I, I hope what I do is helping you realise that you're not alone and there is someone else that understands what you're going through because I seriously do and I know it's tough, I really know it's tough um, but you can do it, you can get through it, you've, you're really not alone so whatever you're feeling right now, if you're going through a bit of a shitty time tonight and you're feeling down please try not to feel down, try and do stuff to distract you right now because I am here for you, I understand what you're going through and just try and stay strong and think about tomorrow and think about the positive days God, I feel like this vlog's been so emotional and we're like six minutes in. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna go wash my makeup off because I'm not going to sleep in this. So I'm actually watching Christmas Chronicles right now. Uh, Christmas Chronicles 2. I don't know if you can see that. But James is at work, so I'm gonna carry on watching this and take my makeup off. Hi everyone. So, 
I have a surprise for you all today. Look who's here. Hey! He's been working so much recently, like, he's just not being available to be in my vlogs, have you? Unfortunately not, unfortunately not. And I know it's been heartbreaking. <laughs> it's been heartbreaking for me. <laughs> but today, we're actually leaving the house. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but I'm driving as always. We are going on a little mini Christmas date, so I'm really, really excited. We've not been on a date that feels like 12 months. No, not been on a date in ages. Mm. So, do you need to concentrate? I think it's there. I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Bollocks. I've got one job and I didn't do it. <laughs> Oh, what paradise island! Um, so yeah, because I've gone to James's house and I didn't bring my backpack because I didn't assume that we'd be going anywhere, I've had to improvise a little bit. And James's sister Lil has kindly given her, given me one of her old backpacks that she just doesn't use. So we've cut a hole in the bottom of it so I can put my feed and pump down. So I'll show you in a minute. Looks nothing like the one I usually use, but it's a backup because there's no way that I'd be able to come here today and not have my fluids on so we have made a bit of an improvisation but it's worked so I've already been on this for like an hour so far. I don't know where we're going, I, I, James I, I just always... won't stop driving. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's premium cut park? Oh you've got to go that way, shit. Oh shit! We're in the shit. premium. We're in the premium parking. Oh god. You're in the premium Does this mean we're, we're in the premium park? What does this mean? Oh. He's, what? He's got a suitcase. Oh my god. <laughs> How has this happened? Spot <laughs> space is space! What is premium? Have we got premium rates or something? Oh my god, James, this is gonna cost us like 100 no. quid to park here. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even know how I've got it. <laughs> we ended up in premium parking, and then his mum's here, and she was like, right, come to this. She is. She's letting us in the car parking space. <laughs> this is what I mean about my backpack. So we put a hole in the, back, in the bottom of it. We can see. And now we have a chocolate. What have you got? Malate, caramel. Stop. Right, we've got back in the car now. So we've probably been there for <laughs> forty minutes. Yeah, maybe about forty minutes. Not long at all. It was freezing. There was people everywhere. We've got everything we needed to get. Kind of. Had a nice walk. Yeah, we've had an, it's, it's, it's nice to do It something. is nice to get out. I think that's the main part. Yeah. And obviously... It's nice to do something together mm. because every time we're together at the minute, it's always in the house. Like, because I'm working from home, I literally stay at home 24 seven. I don't do anything. And then James works out from home and then just comes back. Like we're just, the only time we spend together is literally at home so mm. it's been nice to do something it's been that, yeah but i mean when you're walking around here and obviously we've mm. we've come out but we, we've been obviously best got a bag with the tubes coming out we've got our masks on 24 7 as we're walking around but you just see like big clusters of people not wearing masks just not wearing well. masks and, and i'm talking like seven eight people all together and i don't know if they're from the same household or not but you're just like Some especially just this don't is, care about COVID, no it's like close they? proximity and everybody's just not doing anything yeah so as much as it's been nice to get out, and I'm kind of glad we have, mm. there's just people here that obviously don't care. And it just makes it the whole situation a bit, you know, shaky. You, you, know, you don't really feel comfortable walking around going in the shops when nobody else is following the guidelines. Yeah, so we literally went into two shops. Went to Yankee Candle. Oh yeah, we got, we got the candle. Yeah, we got the candle. Yeah. Ain't no boy stench <laughs> in my room. <laughs> yeah, but. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So we're gonna head back home now. You know it's you know it's not been that long when you've been out when your engine's still warm from driving in. <laughs> but James hates shopping anyway, so if we were to go shopping he would literally like if I was to go shopping I'd bring like one of my friends with me or my mum because James doesn't like shopping. But if it's something that he needs, he will go shopping. 
yeah but we don't do this we don't do the walking into a shop no i know i'm coming i'm going straight to that shop i'm picking it up and i'm going home it'll literally be in a shop for That's 30 it. seconds he'll pick up what he wants and he'll leave whereas i like to go in a shop i like to window shop have a look around oh that's nice yeah yeah but i know all all the guys out there are backing me here because you walk into a shop and they'll walk around and they'll pick about five things up and go, what do you think of this? I think this is really nice. And you're like, yeah, it's really nice. What do you think of this? Really nice. And then do they buy any of it? No, they don't. And you've been in there for half hour and you're like, why have we been in here for half an hour if you're not buying anything? Oh, well, I was just looking. Well, d why? Why? <laughs> I could have had, I could have been home 20 minutes ago. Well, I like shopping. Right, so we're going to head home now anyway. So we'll catch up with you another time. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, so I'm just currently packing right now. Did you actually just hear what I said? I did say I'm packing, I meant to say wrapping. Do you know what? I've been packing that much. I genuinely think it's drilled into my head that I'm packing, but I'm wrapping. Um, I look like crap right now, so don't feel very well. Um, I've just had a really bad vomiting episode, and I feel like all my blood vessels have just popped. I don't know if you can see how bad my eyes have just gone, but yeah, I just had a really bad vomiting episode, so. I don't feel too good but I've just listened to the news and there's been quite a new update in regards to coronavirus um, for anyone that lives in the UK we was currently on tiers um, we was allowed to go certain places if you're in a certain tier you all know that I haven't really been anywhere all year um, me and James obviously went somewhere yesterday um, that was him making a noise um, but yeah there's been a lot of news and updates on regards like where you can go what you can do um all of london is now on tier four um so it's a new tier and they aren't allowed to do anything at all we're still allowed to do stuff but there's a new strain of the coronavirus so it's just made me realize like how much we need to be safe still and i've really not done anything all year like me and james have been so safe um, we just needed to get out the other day which is why we went like it's so important this year to look after your mental health as much as you can and I'm literally staying in the house 24 7 I'm working from home um, you guys know I literally stay at home like all the time which is why I really could have done with getting out when we went out but yes yeah, so there's a lot of news so just if any of you lot are from London or anywhere that you're on a really strict lockdown just want to know what I'm thinking of you um, I know it's been a really tough year but hopefully we're coming to the close of 2020 now we've all made it um so yeah i just wanted to let you know i'm thinking of you because i just feel like the news is just it just gets worse and worse every day doesn't it but yeah i'm just currently wrapping i just need to finish wrapping the rest of my presents um i actually ordered some stuff for me as well so i need to open them <laughs> james is currently like this let me just show you i feel pregnant after my pizza it's a big good boy <laughs> so yeah oh my god oh my god i'm zooming the wrong way yeah don't do that jesus you're still horrible <laughs> so i'm gonna put a face mask on oh, you put on don't test me today <laughs> i put a face mask on and it's supposed to like exfoliate you and it's supposed to like the bubbles are supposed to like expand, so it makes me look really, really chubby. Hello. Hey everyone. Okay, so I have obviously, don't think you've seen me drinking a cup of tea this vlog. Not a cup of tea, winter warmer, that I showed you the other day. I'm just probably gonna sign off the vlog here because I just feel like it's been everywhere. Like this what, past couple of weeks has been crazy. Um, I know I mentioned on my last vlog that I was due on this week so obviously i haven't been well this week um so the days are kind of jumbled up here and there but so i'm gonna sign it off now because i feel like some of the clips are quite long so this is my this might end up being a long random weird vlog um but yeah i've just finished um wrapping my presents so they're all under the tree now um i just wanted to say to all of you guys um i know this year has just been crazy and i know i touched on it the other day about how there's been new restrictions put in place again and um, we kind of thought things were going back a bit normal but now there's a new strain of the virus and 
things are kicking off again, I wouldn't be surprised that there's going to be another lockdown again soon. Um, I know Northern Ireland and I think Wales are going into a national lockdown again on Boxing Day, so I wouldn't be surprised if the UK gets put on that. But yeah, we've still stayed really safe all year. Me and James obviously went out the other day, but followed the guidelines, we was allowed to do what we did. Um, that was one of the first times that we'd proper been out and even when we went out we didn't feel safe which is why we didn't stay for very long so just goes to show that people um just some people don't care some people do obviously us guys that have got underlying health conditions and other people it's just so unsafe for us to go anywhere so yeah i just wanted to say merry christmas to everyone um i might actually upload another surprise vlog tomorrow filming my christmas eve so let me know if i should do that um so like i said just finished my christmas wrapping i am going to edit this vlog to get it up tonight so i just wanted to say merry christmas to everyone if i don't see you beforehand thank you all so much for your support all year i can't even tell you how much it means to me um i'm just going to show you something really embarrassing really quickly how bad my wrapping skills are <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, I know I've gained a few new followers since the reel that I've put on Instagram and TikTok. Um, so welcome if you've never watched me before. Um, I am really thinking about all you guys. I hope you really stay safe this year. If you need anything, as always, I am available to chat to you or I'm here for any advice. Um, and hopefully if I have time and if I'm up to it, I will vlog tomorrow upload a vlog on christmas eve so thank you all so much again if you wouldn't mind pressing the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed and also press the subscribe button which is somewhere here um so yeah thank you so much again for watching and i'll speak to you all so soon